Hi everybody, I've been wanting to do a video about the Missouri Foxtrotter for quite some time now. The only problem is I couldn't find a reliable method in order to obtain it. I've watched many videos on various methods for getting a hold of it on YouTube and tried them all, but was never really successful in using those methods. That is, until now. I would love to say that this method I'm going to show you is my idea, but it's not. I'll put a link in the description so you can view the video I learned this method from. What I want to do now is show you exactly what happened when I used this method so you can avoid some of the mistakes I made trying it out. The Missouri Foxtrotter is arguably one of the better horses in the game, especially for its speed and acceleration, but aesthetically my favourite will always be the Turkoman. The Foxtrotter is a workhorse and the Turkoman is a warhorse. The Foxtrotter is not as brave as the Turkoman and gets boots easily similar to a thoroughbred, but not as bad as Arabian's. The Silver Dapple Pinto is probably the best looking Foxtrotter, but there is something about its eyes that are just a little bit weird. Its base stats show its speed and stamina are higher. The Turkman though is a very brave horse in combat, and when fully bonded far less likely to buck you off when being chased by a cougar or a panther. Turkmen's are taller, more slender, and seem to suit Arthur better as he is so tall himself. There isn't much between the stats, and with a, a decent saddle made by the Trapper, you can class. easily enhance either horse to suit your needs. With all that said, let's get on with the method. You will need to make your way to the oil factory in the Heartlands. The red marker is the starting position. It's from here you will ride through the rail tunnel. The green area is the railway tunnel that you'll use to reset if necessary. And finally, the purple star is where the fox trotter will be. Pay close attention as I ride through the tunnel and go towards some electric telegraph poles. It will be the second telegraph pole that you stand next to, but be careful not to go any further. What you're looking for is a woman with a dead horse next to her. If you go beyond the second telegraph pole, you will trigger the woman to start walking. This will make it much harder for you to try and target and kill her. If she's there, you'll be able to see her quite clearly next to the tree here that the two riders walk past. She obviously isn't here and I can't see the horse on the floor, so what we need to do is reset it. So to reset it you just simply ride through the tunnel back to the oil factory and come back again. She's still not here for me, so I'm going to be patient and try and reset it once more. Yep. She's not here again and it's probably due to an event of some bounty hunters that went past, so I would need to reset yep. it once more. This time when I zoom in with my scoped Springfield rifle, I see the horse on the floor, which means the woman will be nearby. I'll try and get a headshot on her to get her down. What we're looking for next is for the event to basically respawn and the horse to respawn. It does respawn, but it's dead, and that's not what we need. The woman has also respawned, so I need to get another headshot on her. However, this time I didn't actually get a headshot. She's quite resilient and gets up and starts running off, which triggers her reporting a crime. This delays the event from respawning again. However, because of this, the horse has completely disappeared now, along with the woman. I wait it out though, and eventually she reappears. It can be quite tricky to actually see what you're looking at, especially if the weather's quite bad. I think the mistake I made here, even though she'd actually appeared, I hadn't seen her, and I waited too long and as a result of that she started walking off on her own. Eventually she did show up again though. This time I did get a headshot and killed her, but a witness then saw the body. So this time I didn't move from my spot and I waited for the wanted marker to disappear. At this point, I realised that the trick for getting her to spawn again was actually to move the camera away from that area completely and do like a 360 with the camera.
I spot her again. She's finally reappeared. And I remember from watching the other video that you need to be careful for the witnesses. So this time I wait for the wagon to disappear. But of course I don't get a headshot. So I start all over again, remembering to turn my camera around to try and reset her. This does take time, please be patient and keep turning the camera around until she appears. You might have to do this a number of times. Finally my patience pays off and she's there again. This time I'm careful and make sure that I get a headshot. We're still waiting for the horse to respawn though alive. It's also started raining and I start panicking thinking I'm not going to see the horse. It does spawn, and this time it spawns alive, but it takes me a little while to realise or register that it's actually standing there and it's alive. And as you can see, what sealed the deal for me is I hovered over it and I was allowed to study it. Once you're certain the horse is alive, be quick and ride over to it. There's no need to kill the woman who's running off. Let's go. Once you're on the horse, make sure you feed it, give it a good brush and ride off. There's still a dead body there from the last time you killed her, so try and be quick and ride off as quickly as you can to avoid any more witnesses. If you don't want to ride it to a stable right now, you can actually change saddles straight away. Since making the guide to get the Blood Bay Turkoman, I've since realised that the game doesn't allow you to saddle up the Turkoman and you have to take it to a stable. This isn't the case here and you can saddle the Missouri Foxtrotter straight away. Please make sure you watch the other video explaining this method. There might be other tips on that too that you might find helpful. A link is in the description. I've done other guides on how to get different horses early in the game. These two will be linked in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please let me know in the comments section and consider subscribing for more uploads. As always, thank you for watching.